hey what's up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel uh for those of you who do not know me my name is Sivira Klagaza and i'm a software engineer uh sorry about the moving camera i'm actually using my mobile phone to record this video so if the quality is not like top notch please forgive me for that um but i never really um my my video quality has never been really top notch so yeah if you like if you like the content this this is what you get this is like the best i can do cuz i'm actually using my phone to record these videos so yeah like i said for those of you who do not know me i'm Siviwe Karaza and i'm a software engineer um and in this video i want to talk about uh my experience um interviewing with google for a software engineering position um, it was um, actually a machine learning it was a machine learning position that was uh based uh, so if if okay spoiler alert i did not get the role but if i did um pass the interview uh sorry about that someone decided to um start their motorbike downstairs yeah, so I was saying if I did pass the interview, I was going to have to travel to Accra, Ghana, right? So I was really excited, like um, going to a, a different country. Um, yeah, that that's one of the reasons why I actually um, accepted to interview with Google. I was I really wanted to go to Ghana, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, a recruiter from Google reached out on uh, my LinkedIn um, and yeah because because in like I've, I've worked for Amazon I think it, it, it working for Amazon really opened a lot of doors for me a lot of opportunities recruiters reach out to, yeah, like I get a lot of messages to a point where I, I just decided to deactivate my LinkedIn uh, because of that yeah just to i'm just taking a break from linkedin yeah so this uh recruiter from google reached out to me and uh they're ba basically saying that uh they're recruiting software engineers for um i think it's a new office and I'm, I'm not sure whether the office is new or not but for yeah software engineers to work at the accra office in ghana for google and I was like, yo, sure, I'm interested. He, he asked me if I'm interested or not. Yeah, I said I'm interested. And the first interview was like just a personal interview. Like um, the recruiter was basically, um, we're getting to know each other, uh, told me about the role, what to expect and whatnot, what I'm going to be working on, all that. And asked if I'm interested to proceed to the next step or not. And I said, sure, I'm interested. Uh, take me to the next step. Uh, and then there was a phone screen interview. Yeah, there was a phone screen interview. So a phone screen interview is like a technical interview, but it's usually one hour. Uh, they just trying to gauge like whether you'll be able to do the on-site interview, which is usually five hours five hours of technical of coding hardcore coding well there's a bit of behavioral like um interviews in between but it is tiring so i did the phone screen data structures algorithms killed it like a ninja right so yeah i passed the first part which is like the tech the phone screening uh the recruiter emailed me back and um said yeah i passed uh, they would like to proceed to the next step, which is the on-site. Now, the on-site is usually done at the office. You come to the office and you just write code on um, a whiteboard. But in my case, I did it online because I'm in South Africa, they're in Ghana. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's basically five interviews. Um, sorry, I did it. I, I did it. Um, yeah, I did it online for both Amazon and Google. Yeah, it's it's basically five hours of like five hours of interviewing. For Amazon, it was like three technical interviews and two behavioral interviews. Uh, the same applied for Google. I had like three technical interviews and two behavioral ones. 
it was hectic it was really really hectic um so yeah i did the technical interviews the the behavioral ones were okay but the technical interviews were like ah uh, because they were could because uh for that role i was supposed uh, it was like i said in the beginning it was a machine learning uh, position the, um i was gonna be using python okay to to like work so uh, i wanted to impress <laughs> i wanted to impress um so i used python like python is not my strong language right i used python for the technical interviews on for the on-site like the first the phone screening one i used java like the first interview i used java i, I know java so i think that's why i was able to like go through to the next round next round i used python because i wanted to stand out i knew that i was going to use python if i got the job so i wanted to like um like solve those um data structures and algorithm problems using the language that i was gonna be that i was gonna be using if i got the job you understand ah uh, little did i know python showed me flames right so you know with java you've got um like it's you've got java apis right you you've got hash maps there's a garbage collector it's easy to do stuff it, it's easy to work with arrays I'm not, I'm not i think it's easier with python but like i said i've never really used python that much before right and i was never taught python in university the reason why i usually use java when doing these data structures and algorithm problems because in my final year when we were doing data structures and algorithms in university we were we were taught in java so that's i'm really comfortable with that language but again in this case i decided to use python hey showed me flames i was asking the interviewer like basic stuff like i was asking them how 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 do uh, how do i uh how how do I initialize a hash map with Python using Python? And they were like really really like confused. Why would I use Python to like solve data structures and algorithm problems if I don't know how to like do the simple stuff, simplest of things like like just initializing a, a hash map? Yeah. So of course I I I did not I did not um, I wasn't able to finish none of the technical interviews so of course i i failed i did not pass but how was the experience it was awesome it was really really awesome um so if if, if like you fail an interview they tell you that you can apply again after a year in my case i did not apply i'm not sure whether i should i should apply but i'm happy where i am right now i'm not gonna apply if my manager sees this i'm not going anyway yeah, but if um, like, if I wasn't happy, I am. I definitely apply again. I think um, I think if maybe I did the technical interviews using Java, I would have done um much better. But if someone used Python, and was slightly less better than did slightly less better than I did. I think they would go for they would go with that person because they actually solved the the issue the problems using Python, and Python definitely was gonna be the language that like the Python was the language that they were looking for right machine learning they use Python at Google, so yeah I was gonna the projects that I was gonna work on, um I was gonna be working on. Um, improving Google Translate to like um, better translate African languages. You understand? Uh, if you go to like Google Translate, you, you, there's not really a lot of African languages. So I was gonna work on like things like um, natural language processing. Yeah, just just I was just gonna be basically be working on teaching Google African languages. Yeah, so I was really excited. I was really really excited and uh, yeah working on stuff that really makes the world a better place um, I, I want to do that I want to work on that 
uh, which is why also like if you see um, if, if you know the kind of apps that I've, I've been building like personal apps you'll see that most of them I tr in most of them I try to make the world a better place I try to solve problems you know? which is what every software engineer should be doing software engineering is all about making the world a better place it's about solving problems making life um, easier than what it is right now you see so yeah so yeah that was my experience it was it was really like like interviewing for google alone is a it, for me it was a, a really big thing um it was a really big thing uh so i would definitely maybe one day wanna interview with them again but for like a different road now because i want to use java when i'm doing my technical interviews java is king i'm kidding java script is king thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe